Hi, I'm John Lutz, the chair of the Yavpai County Democrats, coming to you from the Yavdem Media Studio. The practice of democracy occurs at multiple levels. Too often we focus on the direction of the nation and lose sight of how we need to participate and promote democracy at the local level. The decisions of our school boards and city councils impact the quality of our lives. We need to be diligent in understanding what is happening in local governance and work within it to promote and strengthen democracy. The Yavapai County Democratic Party is committed to ensuring that local government is accessible and transparent and works towards public education and community health. Whether it is in developing a comprehensive countywide water plan, maintaining public input on development, or properly investing in our public schools, the Yavapai County Democratic Party wants to nurture greater public involvement in the civic processes of our communities in Yavapai County. The Yavdem Media Studio will now present an interview with Jay Ruby and Chino Valley School Board member Mike Fogel. Greetings. Welcome to the Yavdem Media Studio. My name is Jay Ruby. I am the events chair with the Yavapai Democrats. And today we have Mike Fogel from the Chino Valley School Board with us. And it's really interesting because often people don't think about school boards or the role they play in shaping our communities. And democracy really requires education to function. So I'm going to ask Mike a question here. Why should we pay attention to school boards? Well, I think you said it uh, in your question almost, and that is uh, <clears throat> public education is a foundational principle uh, for uh, an active and dynamic democracy. Um, we need an educated population um, that can uh, function in the work environment, um, but also act as uh, uh, engaged citizens uh, of the United States. And you're in Chino Valley. What are the needs of students and teachers in Chino Valley right now? Well, Jay, uh, I might say that uh, I really appreciate uh, having the opportunity to uh, speak with you today and to be part of the first Yav Dem media presentation, uh, 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 the first of, of all time from what I understand. <clears throat> uh, to your question, the needs of students and teachers in Chino Valley are not unlike the needs uh, of students and teachers throughout the United States and throughout the state uh, of Arizona. <clears throat> um, they basically, uh, students need a safe, secure environment um, that, ha that is let, uh, in their classrooms so that they can thrive to the highest levels of their potential, um, led by um, highly qualified teachers um, that uh, uh, are there to provide that kind of uh, education for them. Um, the teachers uh, also are in, uh, in need of a safe and secure environment, um, one in which uh, they are able to teach at the maximum level uh, of their potential. Um, and so it, it's sort of a symbiotic relationship between the two. Um, and there are some specific needs, I think, uh, that people in uh, teachers and students in Chino Valley have that mm -hmm. not necessarily um, uh, may be true in, uh, of students and teachers in other, other communities. Um, for instance, um, we have a significant population in Chino Valley of, of, of children who um, have difficulty having three square meals a day. Um, wow. And so we, we're, we're having to deal with those kinds of issues. We have a high population, percentage population of special ed students. And so this creates special kinds of needs um, also. So uh, at any rate, to sum it up, uh, we're not unlike um, all school districts and uh, all other school districts in the state of Arizona. So food insecurity is an issue in Chino Valley. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. Yep, I would say for about 10% of our population. You know, how, how do the actions of the state legislature impact education in rural Arizona? Chino Valley is absolutely rural. And are, are they, 
you know, what does the state legislature do and how does that trickle down to Chino Valley? Yeah, Jay, I'm, I'm glad that you uh, asked this question because this is the primary uh, concern that I have for our school district and all school districts in rural Arizona. The actions of the state legislature impact education uh, throughout the state, um, and in particular uh, rural part of the state, mostly because their actions for three decades uh, have been to inadequately, from my viewpoint, fund rural Arizona school districts. Uh, and so, as a result uh, of this three-decade disinvestment in public education in the state of Arizona, um, Chino Valley, um, Mayor, uh, Prescott, Prescott Valley, these school districts, we might, could make the claim that we're the poorest of the poor. And what I mean by that is, um, if we take the fact that Arizona uh, schools are 50th in the nation in per pupil funding, and then we add to that fact that <clears throat> our school district and those in the general area of Yavapai County and in rural area, in this rural area, are f uh, at the bottom 5% of the state of Arizona we can make the claim safely that we're the poorest of the poor. And this concerns me greatly and impacts our inability to do what I think is needed. And that is to provide the very best public school education that we can. So we need to ask our legislators to do much more in the area of funding uh, rural Arizona schools. So we're shortchanging the future generation. Well, that is my belief, yes. Yeah, uh-huh. Um, we are, uh, our administrators in the districts in, the, in Yavapai County are pinched constantly um, to make very, very tough decisions with very, very um, uh, short, inadequate resources. Uh, and this impacts um, our students and their families in a very direct manner. Now, I might give you a very good example of what I'm talking about. One of the greatest needs of those in, 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 of our students in Chino Valley is that we need smaller classroom sizes. Mm -hmm. uh, not only so that our students will be, be better able to, to learn and to get the kind of attention that they, they need, but also the teachers need this as well because of the stress that they, uh, the added stress that they experience from very, very large classrooms. And this is true K, pre-K through 12th grade. So what that means is by having large classroom sizes, we're stressing out the students and we're stressing out the teachers. We can't expect to have quality education if we're underfunding it and causing these situations. Well, that's very, that, that's correct. Um, we're 50th, I mentioned 50th in the nation per pupil funding. I that heard, means... I just heard 53rd that we're behind DC, Guam, and the Virgin <laughs> Islands. Right, I, that, that very well could be. Um, and so um, um, what that has meant is that we also have the largest uh, uh, teacher to pupil ratio in the entire United States. We have the largest classroom sizes okay, of all the rest of the states in, in the United States. And this is hurting students okay, and hurting the families uh, of the state of Arizona. Yeah. Well, what do you think uh, Chino Valley School Board's top priority should be in addressing this? Like, what well, can you do as a school board member? Yeah. So I believe our top priority to uh, address is is to address address this these issues of inadequate funding directly, mm -hmm. uh, engaging our community. That is our parents, mm -hmm. our teachers, our business communities, and our public officials that represent us in the state uh, and the state legislature uh, and in the governor's mansion, we need to engage all of these people okay, in this issue of inadequate funding uh, for rural schools in, in uh, Arizona. Yeah, if we don't have our schools thrive in rural locations, it's gonna be a detrimental long-term effect to our communities. 
Well, there's no doubt in my mind about, uh, about that. Uh, and one of my major objections with how funding has taken place in the state of Arizona over the last three or four decades is that we have uh, inequities between uh, uh, districts that are spending the, the very highest levels mm -hmm. on their students and those in the very lowest. We have the, the, the greatest disparities between mm. the very well to do and the very poor than anywhere else in the country. Now, I believe that this is contrary to what uh, our the Constitution of the state of Arizona dictates uh, in terms of our uh, public school obligation. Um, and this is not an easy topic, not an easy subject and an issue to have to address, um, but I believe that it's one that needs to. Yeah, I mean, it seems like we want to give all of our students in the state of Arizona an even playing field so that they can all reach their potential. And if we're imbalanced towards having some school districts get extra funding and others not, that disadvantages people. And it sounds like what you're saying is that Chino Valley in this area up here in Yavapai County, that we are the poorest of the poor and we're not getting adequate school funding. Well, that's what I've been saying. And we also have uh, another part of the issue is that uh, we don't have the political clout that uh, the Kingdom of Maricopa has um, or uh, Tucson, the larger, the larger uh, population areas uh, in the state. Um, <clears throat> those particular regions um, don't have the same kind of issues, same kind of problems of inadequate funding um, that, 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 that we do. Uh, and so we don't have the political clout, the numbers of people, the number of legislators representing us, et cetera, in the, in the legislature. So, uh, um, one could make the argument that people in a lot of school districts in Maricopa are the parents, uh, faculty administrators, uh, all those that are employed in the school district are relatively happy. Okay, because they have been able to find other avenues mm -hmm. to, to fund their programs properly that just are not available to places like Chino Valley, Prescott, Prescott Valley, Mayor, etc. Okay, well, hey, thank you so much. We've been here with Mike Fogel, Chino Valley School Board member today. And uh, Mike, how can people get in touch with you if they want to express their needs about anything going on in Chino Valley? Well, first of all, I want to thank you, Jay, for inviting me to this first YAVDEM media studio uh, presentation. Um, and I, I would be more than happy to uh, answer questions, uh, meet with people. And the best way to uh, get a hold of me is through my uh, Chino Valley Unified School District email, which is m. Fogel, that's M as in Mike, Fogel, F-O-G-E-L, at chinovalleyschools.com. And thank you. Great. Well, thanks, everybody. Uh, there will be a continuing series of interviews and presentations from the Avdem Media. My name is Jay Ruby. I'm the events chair with the Avapai Democrats. And if you have any ideas for things you'd like us to bring up on the Yabdem Media Studio channel, please let us know via messages at our Facebook page. Thanks and have a great day.